Here's the thing about Hitler. He really wanted to bomb Great Britain. But he couldn't. Every time he got too close, he got shot. He quickly realized he needed to find a way to bomb England from afar. You know, like a coward. So he started developing a rocket. They called it Vengeance Weapon. The first version of the Vengeance Weapon used a pulse jet engine and it was as effective as a gorilla trying to do crochet. So the German jumped straight into the second version. A proper rocket that became the first intercontinental missile. Or at least a successful one. This rocket, just like modern rockets, used the fuel and oxidizer mixture to generate thrust. And just like in modern rockets, it required very powerful pumps to inject these components into the combustion chamber. And here was the problem. They needed to find a way to rotate the pumps really, really fast. So they turned to the technology at hand, steam turbines. Now, boilers tend to be big, heavy and not at all compatible with rocket engines. So to solve this problem, the Nazis took very high concentration hydrogen peroxide and potassium permanganate, which they mixed to get insanely high pressure steam. Look at that. 